Now to turn on the machine, there's an MCB at the side. Not an MCB, uh, switch rotary on the side. switch. Rotary switch. Rotary switch, which needs to be turned on. When you turn the switch on, uh, you'll see that the uh, the power comes into the server dry. Now the uh, heaters for the upper heater as well as the lower heater for the ceiling bars can, uh, can be turned on from here and the temperatures can be set individually. To set the temperature, these are uh, Delta PID controllers. To set the temperature, if you press the up button and press set, that will set increase the temperature and press the down button and set, that will decrease the temperature. Similarly can be done for both upper as well as lower uh, heating bars. For both the unwinders, the upper unwinder and the lower unwinder, the speeds can be set. Uh, please note that if the speed is too high, that is still okay as there is a sensor which will make sure that the film does not sag and touch the ground. There is a servo reset button for any of the errors that can happen in the servo. The main machine speed can be set from here. This sets the main motor speed which defines how many strokes per minute you can pull. There is a uh, switch over here which can turn on the servo motor. To turn the machine on and off, for functioning purposes, there is a start and stop button. And there is also an inching button that can be used to set the material. And we can see that if I turn the machine on right now, it will start cutting a ceiling because we have been able to set all of the other parameters. The, even if the heating is still not reached, the machine will get turned on. The heating has to be set to make, ensure that the ceiling happens properly. If the heating is too low, please set it higher so that we can get the proper ceiling. Now the servo has a lot of features inside which can uh, be set according to your requirement. The one feature that can be set, set on the servo is the bag length. The bag length. To set the bag length, F1. F1. F1 needs to be pressed. And if you press F1, you can actually set the bag length using the arrows over here. We are going to press escape to get out of the menu. The F0 button and the F2 button are to pull as well as release the film. The other uh, uh, parameters over here are not to be set, but they represent what is happening currently with the machine. The uh, machine speed can be set from this knob over here. If you increase the speed, it will uh, increase the strokes per minute. We will see that happen as we uh, keep the machine turned on. Right now it is running at 65 strokes per minute and I will increase it. And we will reach almost 80 strokes per minute. The other thing that we, have, uh, we can set in this is the, uh, the stack that we require. Because this is a serv uh, conveyor system, we can define the stack and the motor will automatically uh, speed it up to ensure that there are uh, you get a proper stack. Now to set the stack, F, uh, page, page, page down, down F3. So we, do, we press page down and then we have a batch That's size, size which is F3. Right now it's set at 10, we can change it. The buzzer warning is for uh, clients who have not purchased the conveyor system. That will raise the buzzer as per the count. Please note that the batch size is for each and every uh, unwinder. So if you have two unwinders running, upper as well as lower, so at 10 you will get a, a stack of 20 bags.